Still hot? Yeah, and it's heavy too. When you see Sugarloaf Mountain, dump the rest of the fuel. Hmm. There's a takeoff every minute this time of day. Visibility, wind calm, ready for takeoff. Captain Emilio de la Rosa. Runway 25 is clear, Roger. 643, ready for takeoff. Go ahead, 643. See you when we get back. What's coming right at us? They'll get out of the way. They got. Una grandísima puta. Atención, bomberos, bomberos, urgencia, por favor, salir inmediatos a la pista dos. Zulu, do you read me? Do you read me? Now, what does he want? He wants us to follow. We don't have any brakes. I think he found out. Next time, I found the word name in Halloween. I named I Kingdom Come. I will be done on it. <laughs> it's always nice to come home, eh? Hmm. Attention, El Comandante de l'Aeronave, Lima Lima, Bravo Yankee Zulu. Presentarse immediately to the Airport Security Control Hotel del Sol. Would you put it in the front row? I'll only be gone half an hour. Hey. Thank you. You know, the lady's right. You do look like a parking attendant. Huh? Oh, 
Officer, we found it about a hundred miles from here. You take care, huh? Thanks. Yeah. Hi. More time. Ah, Uncle Salud! Ah, ah, <laughs> <Maria. laughs> How's Miss Monkey? We're fine. And what about your sister? School will be here soon. <laughs> How are things going? As usual, but everything else is fine. Clarita, the medicine. Another attack? Mm hmm. Uh, it's always the same old story. Come on, Papa. Same Papa. old story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Listen, Nazan, if you weren't the born liar you are, you'd admit you never expected that wreck to get here. Now, you hired us to do a job. We held up our end. So stop croaking and hold up yours. Uh, what? What's he say? He said you owe us 250 uh, each. Uh, pay up, Papa. Come on. Yeah, Nardin. Uh, pay up. You, you too now. Ah, there's no respect anymore. It doesn't cost anything to write a check. Oh, no. Huh? You will take a check? Yeah? All right. Uh, Fine. Uh, I want cash. And if you don't fork it over... <laughs> Ah, uh, Ingrid! Maria! Ninja! You missed me. <laughs> and you? Huh? Is she one of your daughters, too? Huh? Lolita. Lolita? Mm. 250 each. It better be good. Salud. It better be good.
you do with him? Oh, him? Nah. Uh, how about the little game, eh? Uh, why not? Wait, wait. I'm playing too. But you said you had a headache. Nope. Never felt better in my life. <laughs> oh, he's a pushover. 100 a game. A shot. 100 a shot. Look out. Hmm. <laughs> you see that? <clears throat> no. Hmm. Did you hear the latest about Nazan? What? That check he gave us wasn't covered. <laughs> How did you cash it? I lent it to him. That cheapskate. May I? Yes, sir. Sure. What do you care? You got your money anyway. Mm. Well, that's worse than getting it from him. <laughs> he wants us to do him a little favor. Hmm. Watch this. Now, look, he's having a hard time. <clears throat> you did it. Hmm? You gave me the headache. Oh, sure, crash a twin-engine plane and collect the insurance. A clean little job, you call it. No risks, huh? I told you, he's got his back against the wall. If we go light on the damage, the insurance company catches on, and we end up behind bars. If we go all the way, we'll never live to tell about it. OK, I'll do it alone. You're damn right you'll do it alone. by. Ah. Oh. Destination, Soldado? Huh? The crew? Us. Or you got any objections? Oh, as far as I'm concerned. Put me down on your list. You're already on it. Who gave you this flight plan? Guy phoned it in last night. Who? I did. I said to myself, what if Salud changes his mind? Didn't you just say you were coming to? No. I mean, yes. That's for me to decide. Do me a favor and scratch his name off. Uh, give me a pen. Uh, I don't have one. I do. He didn't ask you.
out and give you enough money for us at least to get back with. Hey, I'm talking to you. The what? The money for us to get back with. We'll phone him when we get there. Hmm? You figure out where we're going to ditch? Mm-hmm. Just south of South Durham. It's a little bit out of the way, but close enough to town. We'll be there in about half an hour. Get on the radio and give the spot as a reference point. It'd make more of an impression on them if they think we crashed here. Can you imagine if we really fell down there? Hello? Hello? This is Delta Bravo Foxtrot Tango calling Maranto Bay. Sound dramatic. Yeah, all right, call. Hmm. Hello? Delta Bravo, Foxtrot Tango, calling Maranto Bay. This is Maranto. This is Maranto. I read you loud and clear. I read you loud and clear. This is 619. Delta Bravo, Foxtrot Tango, flying from Mazapa to Saldarim. Our route is a 330. <laughs> Hydraulic system is leaking. Damage. You read me? We're flying with difficulty. <laughs> Reception bad. Reception bad. Estimated point is... Can I tell him? Go ahead. We're going on anyway. What? Hmm? Hmm? Yoing, 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 yoing. This is 619. 619. Delta Bravo, Vostra Tango. Flying from Matapa. To Saldarim. To Saldarim. Our route is on yoing, on yoing, yoing. 333. God. They're over the jungle. Try to get their exact position. Once they give us their bearing... You've got to give us your bearing. Your bearing. Do you read me? Estimated point is latitude 525 to south. Longitude 618 west. You're over 200 miles from here. Can you read me? I know, Einstein. Hmm? Now get us out of here. We're losing altitude. Suppose we cut it short, huh? Why? Because we really are losing altitude. I know. I just finished telling them. Oh! Hello! Hello! Uh, no risk. Clean little plane, eh? It's a flying rat trap! Good God, my God, almighty God! Scared, huh? No! Salud. Salud. Hey, salud. 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 Scared, huh? And that takes care of you. Let me hang you. You're next. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Skimber light. Just glass. Huh. Looks real. It looks real, but it's a piece of junk instead. It's hard to tell when you're panning them out of the street. Hey, tell your friend to look out for the piranhas. Salud. What? Look out for the piranhas. Huh? Piranhas. You must be the two pilots that crashed in the Maranto forest last month, eh? How do you know? News travels fast in the forest. Besides, I read it in the newspaper down in the village. They had given you up for lost. How many miners are there around here? Two men. How far away is the village? It will take two days if you're walking. Which way? That way. Right behind you. There's no road, but you can't go wrong. It's... Malaria, huh? Huh? Nah. No, they had a fight last night. Uh, they drink and then they get drunk. And when they drink, they fight. When they fight, somebody always gets uh, killed. <laughs> yeah. Drinking is a problem here. Kills more people than...
What's the matter? Hey, you don't drink, do you? No, I got m malaria. But I'm not worried. The worst is over now. I'll survive. Well, I'd like to survive, too. No offense, sir. Ah, well, a jukebox in the jungle, huh? Yeah, Mr. Ears treats us good. We even get the comics. Ears? Yeah. Who's Mr. Ears? Eat. <laughs> Seek and ye shall find, find and ye shall sell, and Mr. Ears will buy you out lock, stock, and barrel. <laughs> You're a prospector, too? Yeah. That's right. You mean the prospectors compete with one another, but not with Mr. Ears. Right. It's dog-eat-dog -dog around here. The stream manages to wash some stones into the valley, but they're so small. What kind of stones are they? Mostly emeralds, but it's almost impossible to find a stone that'll keep you out of hock for good. What counts here is, is quantity, not quality. Yeah, but Mr. Ears is the only buyer, huh? Yeah, you better believe. You mean you spent 14 years searching and never found anything? Oh, yeah. Oh, I found plenty. A stream of precious stones, enough to set the crown of Midas in your head, young fella. Huh. Huh. A talking dog. Huh? Oh, hello, dog. Isn't that strange? What? You don't usually take to city folk. Well, we lost that smell over two months ago. Looks like a nice dog. Does he hunt? Oh, yes, emeralds. Are they going to stay on? I don't know. Big guy's in there eat. Oh, wow. Look at what just flew in. You hungry, Lindbergh? Always an extra dish for an ace. Thank you. You mean these are the two guys that thought the Manyaro Forest was an airstrip? Yeah, the Lindberger brothers. Price was pretty big, huh? I wonder how they managed to crawl out of it. It wasn't that difficult. Cockroaches can crawl out of just about anything. You think he's putting us on? No. Hmm. Oh, bing, bada boom, fete. Eat up, Limburger. Wow, bada boom, fete. How easy it is. You sneaky. Re bada boom, fete. That was nice. He already did. You take care of him, Mom. Who, me? Yeah, you're through eating. Come on. Mm -hmm. Oh, you must be kidding. Come on. Mm -hmm. Oh, killing people just because you can't stand up on your own two feet. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's hysterical. Come on, Ace. What are you waiting for? It sure can cut. Whatever you do, don't count on me. Let's go, Airedale. You ready? Yeah, listen, if I admit you're right, will you quit it? What am I right about, huh? Uh, everything. Everything. Uh huh. huh? Hey! Ooh! Ah! Ooh! your friend would be good at darts. Yeah. You! <laughs> no, I guess not. No. You don't want to play with them. They're mean. Oh.
Who's that? Ah, you're in luck, my friends. Augusto's here. He'll take you back to your city. He usually goes back empty. Hurry up, Plata. We're leaving. Shall we stop? <laughs> no. As you like. Hey, I'll show you a little trick, huh? Here. Now, come around. That's it. Come. You ready? Now, as you lunge, I gotta kick you in the belly, kick you in the mouth, and loosen the tooth. Now, you lunge for me. Come on. <laughs> kick in the belly, the kick in the mouth. Now, let's see about that tooth. Check on it. It's loose. Just pull it. Ah, there you go. Not bad, huh? Works every time. Hey, Plata! Yeah, just a minute. Yeah. Come here. No. Listen, come here. No. Plata! Just a minute! You work for that outfit too, huh? Better than to try working against it. If you fly supplies to these crazy prospectors, you do it only for Mr. Ears. Going into business on your own isn't too healthy around here. Ears doesn't like competition. Want a drink? Mm. I don't know why, but this Ears guy bothers me. Anyhow, as I was saying, Mr. Ears is a big operator. He's got plenty of planes. What he needs are pilots willing to fly inland. If you want, I can spread the word. Mr. Ears will pay you well. What do you say? No, no we're, we're not interested. Hey, listen. 50% in a partnership yep. means we both make the decisions, huh? You interested then? Who, me? No. Uh -huh. Well, if you change your mind. What interests us right now is a telephone. Hello? El señor de la larga distancia, ¿dónde está? Señor! Oh. Long distance call. For you, senor. Hello? Clarita, how are you? Fine! Wow, well, fine! How are you and Uncle Salute? Ship shape! It's Clarita. Put your father on. Or are they worried about us? What? Who's taking care hey. of you? What's oh, your name? Aunt Alicia's there. Good. Hey, what's Shut up? up? I can't hear anything. Yeah. Yeah, Salute is here. It's little Ingrid. She wants to talk to you. Is he dead? In jail again? Uh-huh. And with all money. When are you coming back, Uncle Salute? When? Soon. Very soon. We've had it. There must be a way we can dig up a little money around here. Yeah, with a shovel and a pail. I got an idea. We go fly for Mr. Years? Better. We fly for ourselves. Yeah, on a broomstick. I don't think there's another model like it in existence. It's a true rarity. Mm. My grandfather flew it in from North America. Ah. Si, si. His grandfather. Where is it? Over there. To the right. It's not in perfect condition, but uh, if you'd like to take a look at it, go ahead. Pay me a little at a time, that is, if you get it off the ground. Nothing in advance? You mean that you have something to give in advance? <sighs> Sorry, I mentioned it. What do you think? I think... Uh, what the hell? It'll never get off the ground. Never! Good. It's a deal, then. Anything else? 
A connecting rod, a magneto, 50 yards of canvas, six vertical spars. Uh -huh. Otherwise, it's all in perfect condition. Shut up. And give me a hand. <laughs> hey, listen, when do we eat? Huh? Eating is a luxury. my stomach. Yeah, well. Now, major. wait, listen, now salute. What? I was just thinking that maybe if we try it, just shut one up. I oh, think you're stubborn. You don't know how stubborn I am. Need some help? Sure. Want a hand? No! This is a personal matter.
Do you see what I see? I see a spear, Ramon. Hey, Ramon, what are you doing? No. 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 Hey, Ramon! Wait for me! Wait! Hey! I want... I want a beer. The bar is closed. Open it up again. Sorry, Turtle, but you got here too late. You swallowed the bottles, too. It's a conspiracy, that's what it is. How much do you want for it? For what? The foam with the ice. How much for beer sets? Mm, on the house. Oh, it's on the house. You're leaving right away? Yeah, but starting tomorrow, there'll be daily deliveries. That means I can order then? For the day after tomorrow. Why the day after? Because tomorrow's trip is all booked up. You can't do this to me. Look. First come, first serve, you know. It's only fair. It's a conspiracy. Okay. Think of something you want, but just one thing. And we'll try and bring it to you. Mm. One thing? That's not easy. Huh. It's not easy landing here, either. No, he isn't. Mm. <sighs> Only one thing? Yeah. Ice cream. <laughs> it's been years since I had any ice cream. Will you bring me a couple of gallons of ice cream? Yeah. If you give me two gallons of ice cream, I give you... This, you can count on it. Vanilla and chocolate, all right? Uh-huh. Vanilla and chocolate. Listen, I'm warning you. If this is all a joke, I'll... You're a joke. You got any cigarettes? All sold out. Yeah, no charge for this. Not until after tomorrow. Come on, put this away, will you? It makes me nervous. You have a match? Ah. What do you want, odds or evens? For what? One of us has to stay. Even you said she won't get off the ground otherwise. Besides, less weight, more freight. We'll take turns. One day I'll stay, one day you stay. What do you want? The loser stays. Uh-huh. I'll take evens. Odds. Two. That's evens. No, it doesn't count. Why not? I wasn't ready. You ready now? Yeah. Evens. Three. That's odds. You gotta be cheap. Oh. says odds, evens, and I'm left here dying of hunger.
<laughs> you see, now, if I had been a jaguar, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Ah, you want to be careful of fires in the animal kingdom. <laughs> you got nothing better to do at night than go around scaring people. Well, see, two of you's coming in, and only one of you's coming out. I thought you might need a bit of help. Why did I frighten you? That's what you call help? Well, it's better to be frightened than to be eaten by a jaguar. Now, sitting around here in the dark, mm -hmm. it ain't gonna do you no good. <laughs> ah, come on. I'll see you don't die in an empty stomach. Come on. My shack's close by. Hey, it's a good thing you told me. Your shack's close by. Oh, well, I, I thought I'd take you around another... Wait, because you see, I wanted to show you something. Oh? Uh -huh. What? You see, you see that mountain? Uh, Which one? The tall one. You mean the one in the middle? I... Oh, wouldn't you think she was talking to you? Huh? No. Well, halfway up that mountain, just where the forest begins, there's three crosses. Yeah. And so? Well, I planted them there with my own two hands. <clears throat> huh? Oh. I thought you'd like to share the view with me. <clears throat> I've got a madman making me pull out my hair already. And it's more than I can take, you understand me? Aye. Besides, I haven't eaten anything all day. I... Instead of feeding me, you show me a mountain, huh? I thought Plato was crazy, but you. Mm, good. That's uh, good. That's good. Hey, look there! Uh, oh. oh, that's only Agnes. <laughs> Poor thing, she wouldn't hurt a fly, would you, Agnes? No, she just uh, just suffers from the heat. That's all. Just suffers from the heat. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll uh, have her out of your way in a minute. She's going out to get some air. A minute. That's it. There. Smells good, don't it? Smells delicious. Do you want to eat? Ah, uh, well, no, I have to look after Arthur first. Arthur? The dog. I had my mind set in getting you here. I forgot about poor old Arthur. So you'll excuse me. Sorry to keep you waiting, but we have a very important guest this evening. You understand, don't you? And from the city, too. Here, now, don't. Now, don't. Don't do that. And mind your manners. To your health. Good luck. Mm. Good luck. Purposes. Yeah. Listen, old man. Huh? I'm sorry. Hmm? I got mad at you up on the mountain. You know, when I'm hungry, I don't know why, but I, I get in a bad mood. I wouldn't worry about that. You know, we're all a bit astray up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I... Well, now, uh, there are these three fellas uh, up there. Up where? Huh? Oh, up in the mountain there. Oh, up, up in there. Uh, mm. Great friends they were. For years, shared everything, son, rain, work. Even their women. Ah, uh, even the... Uh... Yes, then one day I heard a lot of shooting going on up there. Then we all raced up to see what was going on, and there they were, all of them stretched out. Hmm. All of them? Yeah. And the other fellows were saying, Aha, uh -huh, they must have had a bit of an argument. Why would they start killing one another? Ah, come on, says I. Come on and give them a decent burial, I says. Oh, not at all, they said. Leave them for the vultures, that's what they said. Huh, for the final ritual. Huh. So, I decided to go up on my own. And I had only started digging the graves of these poor fellas when I got to know what it was all about, you know. Oh, Lord, you had never seen anything like it. It wasn't just the usual, the kind of a stone you'd find in a stream, like, oh, no, it was a... A deposit, a, a huge deposit, immense, enormous. A whole mountain, a mountain of giant emeralds. Yeah. Big as your fist. That was just an appetizer. Now comes the main dish. No, no, wait, let me talk. Now you want to talk. But before you were tongue-tied, 
Man, I thought you knew. No, I only know that it's weeks since anyone showed up from Fossa Grande. Naturally, there are friends out there with everyone. They do business with not only are the prices cheaper, but they're closer and they sell. Bananas again tonight, I'll choke her. No, tonight we switch. Uh -huh. Bananas and dried beef. And get it while it's hot, or you won't get it at all. Lucretia Borgia. Lucretia Borgia. Lucretia Borgia. <laughs> Do you know who Lucretia Borgia was? Uh -uh. You're teaching swear words to children. Honey. Uh. You want more agua? No, gracias. You sure? No, I feel just great. <laughs> Mira aquí, guapa. Twenty-four, twice is forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, what are you doing? one, two, three, four, checking our account. <sighs> if we're lucky enough to get twenty percent of what they owe us, we could fly out of this dirty hole in a, in a private jet. Mademoiselle? You make me lose my place. So twenty-two, twenty-three, and that completes this one. See, si, senor. It's the usual, my chérie. But oh, it should be twenty-four. Can. One's missing. One, two, three, four. Ah. Four, what are you five, muttering five, about? Five, five. Six twenty-seven. I mean, the plane's been paid for. Uh, th that's not the problem. Still got a few coins in your bag, don't you? I should hope so. We got any debts? Uh, huh, that's all we need. So what's and, wrong? And I can't figure this out. Will you shut up? <laughs> oh, thanks, sweetheart. You're more beautiful than usual tonight. <laughs> hey, where do you think you are? One of these days, you know, I'm going to get married. I suppose you think you're in the middle of the jungle, don't you? Uh, you're wrong. You mean we're in a mud hole. <laughs> That's great. Now, I'll show you where we are. Mama Margarita. Yes? May I have the honor? Oh, be a good boy, Plata. I have an army to feed.
hundred dollars. Yeah, that's right. Now you know where we are. Where? I need the pilots here. They're all here. Nobody flies at night. We'll get one of them up. I have a boy who's badly wounded. Hurry. We have to take him to the city. Get back out. He's dying. No, one's back out. We're not equipped for that. The wolves who take off will wait to the airport to have an ambulance there waiting for him. The airport's closed. And besides, they're not equipped for that. He's losing blood. I know, but there's nothing you have it on your conscience. Look, it's not only illegal, it's impossible. Don't you understand? If that boy is not operated on immediately, he'll be dead before morning. No, will I be? It's suicide. Tranquilo, chico. Todo va your turn to go to Forza Grande tomorrow, remember? Odds or evens? Mm -hmm. I'll toss you. Heads or tails? Heads. <laughs> Sorry, it's tails. There is something you can do, though. Well, one day you can do the bookkeeping. Here's the bank. And God help you if you lose it, huh? <sighs> remember the last time I was drunk. I still don't understand. When I'm drunk, I mean when I'm really mellow, it's hard to explain. But I've become immortal. Hello, Ital Duma. Ital Duma Airfield. Ital Duma Airfield. Ital Duma, do you read me? This is Saldarem. Who's that idiot who wants to take off? Me. And I already took off. And if you don't watch your tongue, I'll pull it out when I get there. That's highly improbable. What, uh, pull out your tongue? No, that you get here. P perhaps you might like to hear the weather bulletin. Serious disturbances along the central cordillera with local precipitation. Zero visibility, which means you'll never find us. In addition, if you do reach this far, visibility over the runway is, I repeat, zero. But if by some dark miracle you manage to set your rump on the ground, you'll find a pair of handcuffs waiting for you. As soon as I sign off, mm -hmm. I'm reporting you for violation of the civilian flying code and for contempt of a civilian official. Bravo. Now shut up and put on some music. Music? Any preference? What music are you talking about? Whatever you like, so long as I don't have to listen to you. I don't think you've understood that you're talking to the base commander. And you haven't understood that I'm immortal. What are you? Oh, forget it. Just call me an ambulance. I have a wounded man aboard. Over and out. Are you really going to report him, sir? Just shut up, will you? Visibility zero. It's like daylight. These weather bulletins. Anyway, we'll 
we'll be all right if we don't lose sight of that road. I don't hear a thing, sir. Neither do I, sir. Shut up. Quiet back there. Santos, you ready? Whatever you want, sir. I'm sure of it that I was in Ireland once. <laughs> no, no, I was in Salvador. Yes. yes. Salvador is a beautiful city. Ah, well, it was once. Why haven't you ever gone back? Ah, well, there's no one really to go back to. I was thinking of going back there a few times, as a matter of fact, but something's always happening to stop me. Such as? Huh? Well, uh, I don't know. I don't remember. What did you do back in Salvador? What did I do? I didn't know where you were lawyers. Dance for me. Hold it. Uh, they're good at it there, aren't they? Oh, yeah. After a dance, we'd go for a ride along the beach, park the car. Along the beach in a motor car? Uh-huh. Bishop, it's worth nothing. Why? What's wrong? At one time, all the young ones used to meet on the sands, and nobody to bother them at all. Ah, but uh, not in a motor car. Huh? You point your car out to sea. Turn on the radio, and you've got the ocean before you and paradise beside you. Huh? Huh. Well, that's something new. To woo in a motor car. Huh. Well, look who's here. The ace in person. Uh, I see that you've changed weapons, hunting for quail. Yeah, the ones that grow fat and stupid from too much flying. Uh, at least it saves you from going to the dentist too often. <laughs> All right, keep them up. Nervous, huh? Don't try it again. Would you like another beer? Huh? Oh, yes, I... <laughs> Drink hard. Nice. Tell him to shut up. Easy, Arthur. Good dog. I'm afraid he doesn't think much of you either. I told you to make him shut up. Why don't you tell him yourself? All right. I will tell him. No. No. <laughs> Buenos Aires, por el Carmen y Santiago. 
Augusto. Oh, hello, Saloon. How's that boy making out? It was a close call, but he'll live. What are you doing here? Mm, came down to give my crate an overhaul. Actually, they, they told us all to stay clear of the camp for a few days. How about Potter? He stayed clear, too? No, he's a little bit you know, crazy. Yeah, I know that. Go on. Mm, last night, he didn't show up at Mama Margarita's. Then he probably slept at the old guy's place. I guess he... Hmm? Listen, I, um, I gotta go now. I gotta... Take it easy. What's your hurry? Who's that? That's Mr. Ears. Mr. Ears, huh? Yeah. He personally comes out to the camp once a month to pick up the stones from the prospectors. What's he having his ears? Is he deaf? <laughs> like a door. Who's the other guy? That's his personal pilot. Never seen him. Just as well. Once, just for fun, I saw him crush a coconut in his hand like this. <laughs> like a banana. He doesn't think about me. He doesn't think that I'm in this too. Yeah, but maybe... Shut up. Maybe they didn't tell him not to go. No, no. Oh, it could be. No, he just ups and leaves. And with the cash besides, you understand? Yeah, with the cash besides. Well, you can take the cash to the grave with you. Yeah, well, can I... Can I at least know where we're going? I gotta get back? Yeah, just a minute. With one hand, you said, huh? Huh. You see? It's no big thing. You just dirty your hands, that's all. But this time is the last. Mark my word. This time he's gonna do it my way. I'll show that damn idiot. Yeah, at least you you got a head on your shoulders, but Plata, he's... He, he... He's crazy. Listen, you mind telling me where we're going? Don't you know? No. I'm gonna buy a couple of things in town. Then you take me out, right away. Where? To Fosse Grande. Where else? Oh, no, no, I can't. No, no. Bravo! No. I knew I could count on you. They might have killed you. That's so, you poor oh, thing. Quiet, old man. <laughs> All right. Anybody home? Yeah, come in, stupid. Oh. You're the one, stupid. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Parachuted in, huh? Yeah, there's only one swamp in this whole valley, and I had to land it. Augusta, drop you? Yeah. <laughs> They got away with everything, huh? Oh, yeah, even the IOUs. And the plane? Boom. They shouldn't have done that. Yeah, but they did. But they shouldn't have. But they did. Should I fix you up something to eat? With this face in front of me, I'd get sick. Bring him something to eat. <laughs> I did some shopping. Oh, yeah? What'd you get me? Hmm. Ah. Beautiful. <laughs> what else do you want? Guess. Check it. Open it up. I checked it, and it's empty. Oh. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ears? Mr. Ears? Hmm? He's got a lip reading, though. <laughs> yeah, but only in German. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? There's... Uh, that's what? There's us. <laughs> he said us. One moment I shoot. Hmm? I thought that gun was empty. Hmm. You could have kept that to yourself. Anyway, it's no more loaded than yours is. Watch it, deadhead. They're both loaded. Oh, you caught on. What do you say we put these back where they belong? Huh. You left the door open.
You took care of the back door, didn't you? Ah, uh, not even a fly could get in there. Okay. And that takes care of the guns. There's no point around here. No, wait. Huh? We didn't happen to have a coin. When people start airing their opinions, someone raises his voice, the voice is carried. Come on, come on, make it quicker. This is the volume control. Catch! Got it! Okay, here we go. coconut in his hand like this. Like a banana. A banana! Yeah. Uh -oh. In one hand, Salud, like this. Like a banana. Hey. What's the matter? They got the message. Does it make any difference? <laughs> nice bunch of fellas, aren't they? <laughs> huh. Look at that. 
There's more piranhas in water in that river. <laughs> you give them a finger, they bite off a whole arm. <laughs> anyway, they got a good, strong canoe, food, everything they need. Yeah, the rapids waiting for them ten miles downstream. Rapids? Yeah, rapids. Well, for the... I seen that old canoe going downstream today. Oh, saw it. Yeah. I don't suppose it'd be very much to keep you here any longer. Yeah, we're not a prospect, as you know. We... Yeah, besides, if we don't take advantage of this chance, I mean, with that deluxe jet of Mr. Ears, you know. <laughs> That's right, since he preferred the water route this time. Yeah. No. I'm sure... Salvatore must be looking very beautiful this time of the year. We're going to Salvador, huh? Who said anything about Salvador? Ah, uh, well, then, if you say yeah, so. a beautiful place. Of course we're going to Salvador. Salvador is great this time of year. Well, I'll fix you something to eat. You must be very tired, very hungry. You know, I got a sister who's married in Salvador. Huh? Yeah. Um, well, they're not very rich, but they got a nice bunch of kids. Husband's a mailman, or oh, a nice guy. They have a big house and plenty of room. Only trouble is they both work. And yeah, they have no one they can leave the kids with. Uh, I, uh, if he likes animals, he should get along with kids, don't you think? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Down there, you open a drawer and a kid comes popping out. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? You mean... You mean you take me with you? Oh, of course. We're flying empty. There's plenty of room. But what about the dog? I mean... What, oh. oh, no problem. If he starts biting, we buy a muzzle. I... Good, then you'll come with us. I wonder if it was a good idea to bring him along. He's been dreaming about it all his life. Dreams are one thing. Huh, now you tell me. No, he's so crazy, everybody in this city will love him. Can you imagine him in a big city? Hmm. You'll be all right. Glad you think so. Besides, wasn't it your idea to say we were going to Salvador? Yeah, and whose idea was it to make him your sister's babysitter? You don't even have a sister. How do you know I don't have one? Do you? No. But I could have. Who knows what he expects to find? Why don't you go and talk to him? Yeah, and tell him what? Anything. Keep him company. Yeah, I suppose I am. Because I'm happy, really. <laughs> Imagine the things that have been happening over the years. And there was me stuck in the middle of the forest, away from it all. I was scared of people. Of course, I'm over all that now.
Plata! What is it? just took off. Oh. That's not fair. Poor loco old man. He wasn't all that loco. That much we knew. What we didn't know is that he really did find the mine. Look. Certainly, in appearance, your concession is in perfect order. No objection. But the ministries, they're quick to approve documents. Isn't that so? But they leave all the drudgery to us. We have to verify, and to check, and recheck. And before I can give you my stamp of approval, we have to delve, dig deep into the situation, and clarify everything. I see here that you're from out of town. And it's quite obvious that you're not acquainted with the... Uh, procedure for obtaining a mining concession, but you've been uh, fortunate enough to find me. They haven't made a rubber stamp out of me yet. I'm a practical man. I speak frankly and open-heartedly. Isn't mm -hmm. that so? My proposal is not only a reasonable one, but an honest one. Isn't that so? Mm. Isn't that so, gentlemen? Uh, would you offer him half the concession as a proposition? What a stupid question. Yeah, I mean, 50% would be more than enough for us. But to split with somebody like that, besides, the old guy wouldn't have wanted it. Nobody's getting anything. Nobody, not from me. Bravo, you're on the right track. About what? About us getting out of here. And the sooner, the better. You're kidding. You gotta be kidding. All we have to do is get to the plane and let them chase us for a while. Nice, and give up everything, huh? <laughs> I didn't say that. Listen no. to me, genius. Not even a cannon is gonna get me out of here. Understand? Huh? Yes or no? Yeah. For once, the law is on our side, with the documents in our hands. That's just it. They're not in our hands anymore. Hmm, naturally, he'll give it back. Oh, sure. A lawyer is necessary. You got a lawyer, yeah. A hundred lawyers. <laughs> lawyers, huh? Well, I figured a way to get out of here. I don't know if you noticed. Just a minute. I got an idea, too. You? Yeah, me. Hey. What is it? Uh... This! <laughs> You're not moving from here. That's my idea. or not? Come back in here. I'll wait for you at the plane then, huh? Mm. Come <laughs> back, you no good son of a... <laughs> no good stinking sneaky rat, I'll kill you! <laughs> no. Hey, I'm sorry, very sorry. I didn't see you. Oh, that's all right. Excuse me. Don't, don't go away. I'll be right. I'll be right back. Don't lock the gate. Let go.
Excellency. Here you are. <laughs> and a drop for me. Well then, here's to our agreement. Mind if I join in? Mm -hmm. Good, very good. <laughs> puts an end to all our problems. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Hmm. This is hardly a time for napping, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Hmm? He's not used to staying up late. Please don't make me see him again. We were rich. A whole deposit. Oh, all we needed was a lawyer. And he declared war on South America. Uh, what a screwing. They'll give me 50 years if they catch me. Huh? 
You know, last night I didn't have time to tell you what I thought about your idea. And so? And so! So I said to myself, maybe he has it in for me. Maybe he feels insulted. Ah. Do you insult me? No. I think you want to talk it over. Let's not rush things, huh? Yeah. You're right, you know. There are certain matters that you... Just can't be rushed. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. Hey, don't you think we better get started? What do you uh, want? To arrest them. Bueno, go right ahead. You don't think... Uh... Before anything else, let's put a little sense into your face. Oh. 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 Hey, Platter, you think we can come back someday? Mm, I doubt it after all the trouble you caused. Me? Who else? Anyhow, nobody's going to take that concession away from us. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah. In other words, we're rich, but we haven't got a cent. Huh. Like the old guy. Flying through the air, side by side. 